I told you that you could get in on the ground floor of an IPO opportunity that was only made available to certain people, and that opportunity gave an entry price of, oh, I don't know, let's just say $1.39 per share U.S., and it gave you access to the most efficient, both economically um, and effective plastic recycling technology that this world has seen as of 2024. And that opportunity was so unique to be made available to the masses and that you knew that what went into that deal was access to six multi-billion dollar companies that were currently engaged with that company and that they had just announced the second of the six and that that company that they announced uh, advanced collaborative stages with in their customer engagement program was none other than Total Energy out of France, a $157 billion company that is advancing their uh, discussions and involvement with this company. If somebody proposed that to you and they said, for $1.39, you can have access to this, what would you say? I think all too often people find all kinds of excuses to spend their money on things that will eventually turn to dust, depreciating assets, automobiles, um, even justifying buying property high, which is one of the very few categories of appreciating assets that I do concede can work out for many, many people if, in fact, you're not subjected to a downtrending market. In other words, we don't want to buy high and, and, and eventually sell low. Now, eventually, the real estate market does recover itself. But opportunities in the stock market, comparatively speaking, do not make themselves available in the matter that I posed to you at the top of this video. They just don't. Because opportunities, as elegant as I was able to disclose to you, don't exist in nature. They don't. They don't exist because there are too many involved entities that have a vested interest in profiting in the idea because the idea is so good, right? The proposal is so good, the technology or the service or whatever it is, is so revolutionary, so groundbreaking that private hedge funds, private equity, private entities, private funding, private this, private institutions, private, 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 want to take and have access to that before it enters into the opportunity of the mainstream. That's the reality, my friends. That is the way it has traditionally worked. And I have seen IPOs come and go with those insiders, institutions, et cetera, having access to amazing ideas that the audience is stuck having to wait and subject their opportunity to the open market once those sweetheart deals are made. Okay. We have an opportunity now with a Duro Clean technology after the announcement that this company will be uplisting to the New York Stock Exchange to look at that very opportunity through the lens that I just defined for you now. And that is the way I look at it now. I believe that the bull case for Aduro has become that much more solidified. I believe that the opportunity from now until the uplisting happens and ACTHF, the ticker symbol that was traded on uh, the OTC quality board markets, will cease to exist and we will enter into a new arena of opportunity through visibility. The shares, I believe the application will be accepted and eventually will be traded on the New York Stock Exchange. What happens between now and then? What happens? The stock has shown a little bit of movement to the north and current share owners are happy to be participating in this opportunity. 
a lot of us have known for many, many years that this was uh, not a hope, rather a foregone conclusion, because the technology that I speak of that has 95% effective rate that uses low cost to input with lower temperatures, which means higher savings on the back end and quite frankly incentivizes plastic pl plastic recycling as opposed to turning a blind eye which has been the traditional practice of large plastic producers they turn a blind eye it's not economically viable to engage in plastic recycling if in fact it costs more to recycle the plastic than it's worth that whole thesis is now turned on its head Aduro now makes it possible to engage in plastic recycling, not only to avoid fees and penalties, but also in an economically viable sense to introduce plastic produce by the large producers into a circular economy, which is something that has been the scuttlebutt for many, many years and has not been able to be realized in reality. My friends, it is now a reality. And large corporations, if you don't want to believe me, take it from them, who are advancing their collaborative stages, providing resources for their opportunity to partner with Aduro that sits just over $100 million in market cap. I think the company, as it sits right now, is significantly undervalued um, with these opportunities and each new opportunity that uh, that breaks we're going to get into the press release and we're going to cover a little bit about what Aduro has released to the public facing audience. But I really want you to take this opportunity. This is the calm before the storm. And my friends, at best, it's going to last a couple of months. And at the end of that couple of months, we are going to be faced with a closing down of a chapter of Aduro Clean Technology trading on the OTC markets. And we are going to enter into a new phase of trading. Uh, with Aduro Clean Technology. The ticker symbol is to be determined, my friends. The share consolidation is yet to be determined, and the actual share price is yet to be determined. But make no mistake, Aduro is making this move out of strength, and it is exciting times. And you are, for those next couple of months, presented with a calm before the storm I look at it like a lens of being provided an opportunity unmatched and unparalleled of anything that retail investors have been made available to in the history of me covering the stock market for nearly 30 years. Aduro Clean Technologies now sits on this announcement looking to uplist the New York Stock Exchange and currently trading at $1.39 U.S., with an opportunity upside, comparatively speaking, with industry peers in excess of a billion dollars. My friends, I will provide the disclaimers in my relationship with the DuroClean Technologies. They are made available to you so you can understand my affiliation with DuroClean Technologies. Um, I am paid to provide awareness opportunities and awareness to these announcements as they are made for educational purposes only and awareness. You're to do your own due diligence and make your own investing decisions as I have. I disclose my current share count down below for full visibility, and I think things are going to shake up, and I think they're going to shake up in a very, very big way. Stand by for rolls. I've been saying this for the last couple of years. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, and if you don't take no, uh, if you don't take notice right now, I'm afraid that there are going to be people who didn't know about this opportunity and are brought to the opportunity too late. Let's kick into the press release and, and see what uh, what that has in store for us uh, and read through it a little bit and provide you my insights on what that could potentially mean. So I'll bring everybody's attention here to the uh, news, probably the biggest news since the Game Changer announcement. This is exclusive to Total Energy and Aduro Clean Technology entering into the new phase of the customer uh, engagement program. This will be um, a, a huge step in the evolution of this relationship and really provides a lot of clarity to the public audience because up till now, uh, we were uh, completely uh, void of, of any progress with who they were collaborating with, 
uh, and that was for obvious reasons. Uh, I take this as uh, Aduro's way of really solidifying the relationship with Total Energy, and it'll be amazing to uh, continue to report out on the progress being made with Total as they progress through uh, this uh, collaboration phase uh, with, with Total. Um, this information comes on the heels of the IPO and uplisting to the New York Stock Exchange. So I think coupled with this announcement, it is safe to suggest that uh, good times on the horizon to see how the stock reacts to uh, both of these pieces of news. Um, we've had um, uh, an upswing in the stock price. I don't think anything too crazy. Um, you know, relatively speaking, um, it's been it's been good. Um, the market has reacted positively to the news, but I think with uh, lack of access to this company and the eventual uplisting and progress reports that are provided on this news that I'm going to share with you here, uh, I think it's good times to come in, in the latter part of 2024 and and into 25 and 26. You go back to some of the older slide presentations that Aduro has shared with would-be uh, investors and anybody that's interested in the story, and it speaks to the timeline and the importance of their customer engagement program, and this is just a huge solidification of that uh, gated approach that Aduro Clean Technologies is taking with each of their customers. It's a, it's a shared uh, endeavor which with, with each of their clients to where uh, Duro can look at what the needs of the client are and, and and vice versa. The client can actually look at how hydrochemolytic can be scaled into the business. Uh, it can be evaluated. It can be improved upon. And the collaboration, just as the name implies, can provide a wonderful opportunity for these two companies to come together uh, for a better tomorrow. Uh, so let's go over the press release in depth here. Uh, this is a, a key announcement. I cannot stress enough how important this announcement is. Um, uh, but uh, I, I'm going to skip the first. This is just a, an introduction that um, they have announced in the new collaboration with Total Energy. It's really moving moving into um, a, a more specific phase. Uh, and it gives some details in the second paragraph of this news release. For you guys that are tracking this information, as you should be, uh, I will provide a link to this information. Uh, as always, aduroCleanTech.com is the source of the information. I will, of course, provide you a link to the website so you at your leisure can come in here and review the information on your own. I highly encourage you to do so. This is just an introduction to uh, and an announcement through the channel for those that were unaware of the announcement uh, that just came through uh, uh, in the last month, just a couple of days ago. After positive preliminary technical evaluations by Total Energy, we are now entering a research and development collaboration phase. This phase will move, will focus on a more diverse range of waste plastic materials particularly those with a higher concentration, uh, polyolefins, polyurethane metals, and other challenging contaminants. So what this tells me is that they've been working with Total for a bit. Total liked what they saw and are increasing their posture and involvement with Aduro. All positive things. I don't really have any other way of, of suggesting that this is monumental in nature. Um, the project aims to establish process parameters to manage these variable and hard to recycle feedstocks, which is where Aduro and its technology sets itself apart, optimize the process design and operating conditions, and lay the groundwork for a commercial process. Let me repeat that. Lay the groundwork for a commercial process. My friends, this is really interesting, and this approach is novel. I've never seen a company do this in that they are sharing the burden of responsibility with the customer, and I think it bodes well for Aduro having this much confidence in their technology to, to, to ask a would-be client 
to share in growing the technology with the customer. I think it's a bold move. I, I think it's a very, very smart move. And I think it is going to pipe a lot of uh, customers uh, sooner than later. I, I think it helps uh, reduce the risk for a Duro by taking this approach. Uh, I think it solidifies what a Duro knows that they have. And I think it really just suggests to the industry, look, if you want to play ball, you're going to have to share in some of the burden because we have an eventual understanding that you're going to enjoy the technology and we're going to walk this road with you and you're going to share um, in, in, in the cost, right? Which lends itself to uh, each of the respected companies at hand, Total and Aduro, respectively, in their goals. And I just think it works. I think it's a really smart approach. And I'm, I'm really interest, interested to see, you know, the first one come into a commercial agreement with Aduro. That's really going to be um, the, the end-all, be-all. But this is uh, progressing along that line. We're just a little bit premature of that. And we'll have to be patient to see uh, what comes out of the this, this collaboration agreement. Aduro's innovation is centered on deconstructing these materials into high-value feedstock suitable for the chemical industry. We know this. The next sentence I read on. Total Energy will provide both financial and in-kind support, including access to technical resources. Perhaps maybe I should slow down. Let me read again. Financial support. Fantastic. Uh, access to technical resource. Fantastic. In-kind support. This truly is an evaluation of resources that Total can bring to bear that Aduro would be ill-prepared as a $100 million company to play in this arena that Total Energy has played in for many, many decades. Guys, Total Energy is a $157 billion company. You do not get to that status without a lot of years and a lot of application, a lot of growth, and a lot of uh, learnings and a lot of really capturing a lot of in-house knowledge that Total and a lot of the other major plastic producers hold. And and so for Aduro to be able to open those opportunities up and Total in no short order is projecting that they are going to allow uh, Aduro in and provide an opportunity to help accelerate their program it is nothing short of exciting. This collaboration aims to generate valuable data that will accelerate Aduro's technology development and scale up and facilitate the potential integration of hydrochemiletic technology into refining and petrochemical platforms. It does not get any better than that. There's a couple of comments here that uh, Ofer adds some color and as well as the Total Energy's uh, pledge by 2030 to uh, introduce 30 uh, percent of the plastic produced into the circular economy. I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. You're going to have to go in there, get your reaction for yourself. I found this to be uh, an, an absolutely incredible announcement on behalf of Aduro, and congratulations to them for knocking down this deal. It's going to be amazing. And, you know, for the betterment of the planet, I, I hope these folks can really uh, find some synergies within each of their respective businesses. Who knew? Who knew? that a $157 billion company could see a, a company with just over $100 million in market cap and find some synergies in each of their respective businesses to collaborate on this program. We're going to stand by for roles because I expect that this is going to quickly accelerate into something very, very special. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the press release. What do you think? Total Energy? This is not small potatoes. This is a large, major uh, uh, player in the oil and gas industry, major plastic producer. Uh, not surprised that Europe is um, a European-based company is taking the lead on this. Um, ask yourself, would Total Energy be making this move with Aduro if they didn't think that there was something there? Um, it is my premise that there is something there. It is my premise that I believe that Aduro has been working with uh, Total for a, a little while. 
I don't think this announcement was made from in vain. I, I think it was made in uh, in full confidence to let the public facing audience know that Aduro and Total are collaborating together. They're bringing resources together. They're bringing financing together. Uh, they are bringing personnel together. And Aduro is bringing to bear the hydrochemolytic technology, which up till now really is 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 unknown to the to the to the general public. But the impact to change the world with this technology is absolutely ever present. And it's going to be great to understand this collaboration uh, and, and putting this technology to the rigor for a better tomorrow. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in at the video. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I'll respond to all comments. This should generate some churn on the channel. Positive news all the way around. Absolutely. Uh, if if you're still you know doubtful of the story, I'm interested to hear your opinions as well. Okay, we're here to provide information. I'm not here to hype you up to make decisions for you. Okay, those are decisions that you have to make for yourself. But the independent investor is cutting through to information that could be absolutely invaluable and priceless to those potential investors out there that take heed of this opportunity and take advantage of it and look to profit from it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future.